OCHEM is literally the most requested topic, so let's get into it. You are literally learning a new language with OCHEM, so you need to master nomenclature. I use physical flashcards, but do whatever works best for you. Practice is really key here. The reason a subject like OCHEM is so hard is because it is very hard to visualize a compound, for example. So something that really worked for me is looking up illustrations and animations online on YouTube. I remember learning electron orbitals, and I'm like, what is this? What you're going to do is you're going to look up the class syllabus. You're literally going to copy and paste what you're learning into YouTube and find an animation. Here's an example of S, P, and D orbitals. It basically just shows you what that concept is in 3D and it's so much better compared to reading a textbook. We also got physical models with our textbooks, but I actually never ended up using that. Another thing you're going to do is make summary sheets of literally every reaction. You're going to include the reactants, reagents, products. This really reinforces your understanding of the main pathways. I wish I could show you these because I literally have five summary sheets with every single reaction on it, but unfortunately they're back home. OCHEM also requires so much practice and practice problems are really key here. Do all the assigned problems that your prof gives you, but you can also find extra problems online. My personal favorite account is the Organic Chemistry Tutor. He was so helpful. What you're gonna do is pause the video every time he asks a question, you're gonna do it yourself and try to solve it. If you get stuck, try to do what you would do on an actual exam, take out a paper and actually work through the problem. And you're only gonna press play once you are done solving it. Don't just fast forward the video to see if your answer is correct. Instead, watch the full thing because maybe he found a shortcut, maybe he did something different, and maybe ironically you just ended up with the same answer. So be sure to watch his full explanation. Good luck and let me know what other subjects you want me to cover.